everybody, so this is going to be a little mini quick review on the Rimmel Apocalypse. Um, this is what the packaging looks like here. I picked it up about a month ago and I've been playing around with it and I decided it kind of needed a video all of its own just because this is such a unique lip product. I don't really have anything like this and I just wanted to kind of share why. Um, I believe the UK had this product out for almost a year if I'm not mistaken and it just recently came to Canada. So I saw it in stores and I decided to pick it up. Also wanted to note I'm wearing it right now. I'll zoom in real quick for you but I typically would not be wearing, there it is there. I just applied it like two minutes ago, so it's still quite shiny. Um, I typically wouldn't be wearing such a bold lip color with this eyeshadow look, but I just did an eyeshadow tutorial. And I thought I'd talk a little bit about what this lip color and I wanted to wear in the video, so that's what's happening. All right, so for the color I got, it's number 101 Celestial, and I wanted to also mention this is called something different in the U.S. They're called the Rimmel Show-Offs, but in the U.K. and Canada here, they're called the Apocalypse. I'm not too sure why that is. But like I said, I got the color Celestial, and I will swatch it here for you on my hand. That is the color there. It's just like a really opaque, medium-type pink color and when you first apply it, it's got that sheen. These retail for around $8, but again, it depends where you get it and whether or not it's on sale, but it is a drugstore brand, so it retails for around $8. And what makes this so different is that it's not a lip gloss, and it's not a lipstick, and it's not really a lip stain, although kind of. It's kind of like a combination of all of them, and it definitely is. This is a very intense product, I will say that. I'm gonna show you here in a second myself applying it, and you'll see how darn careful I am when applying it, because this is the most pigmented, opaque, like lip gloss format color thing that I own, absolutely. It's like a lipstick in the fact that it's like pure color, like you're just painting on your lips with a really intense vivid lipstick color it's like that but it comes in a lip gloss format I'll show you here there's the wand so there's a wand for it I'll show you it more up close in a minute so it's like a lip gloss in that aspect and it's glossy and when you rub your lips together for the first little while after applying it it's definitely like lip gloss and this, when this does dry, it ends up staining your lips. I haven't tried all the colors, obviously I just have this color, but this color in particular will stain my lips for quite a period of time. So it's kind of like a combination of all three. One thing about this product is it does not look the same when you put it on as it does like an hour or so later. I'm hoping this will dry a little bit throughout this video so I can show you what it looks like a little bit later. But it, when it, once it dries, it does look quite a bit more matte and it's no longer smooth and creamy between your lips. It doesn't really have that shine anymore because it's more matte matte so it kind of transitions in that way however it does dry to your lips um, kind of evenly so you're not left all patchy or weird it doesn't get sticky when it dries it just dries like a total matte lipstick I like this product for so many reasons however there is one like kind of drawback that makes me not reach for this that often and that is because it's so pigmented it can transfer so easily like when I have when I apply it it's kind of like paint. You have to make sure you're perfectly in the lines. And then it stays wet for quite a period of time and glossy, which is nice. However, if you touch it or if your hair gets in a piece of it and then kind of goes back, you know, back to where it should be, it'll leave a streak of it on your face. Um, if you, you know, suck out of a water, like a straw or eat anything, if you mess with your lips in any way this will transfer immediately and then kind of stain the area that it transferred so it's a very very delicate product it's awesome in the fact that it is so darn pigmented and it is creamy and it's not sticky and it's glossy like there's lots of things that it's awesome for but i don't reach for it very often because i'm not often in situations where i know i'm going to be perfectly good with my lips and nothing's gonna touch them and I'm not doing anything crazy I don't have the kids around me like kids in particular this is not a good product for um, if you're hanging out with your children however the idea behind it I think is awesome so I will quickly cut to the clip now of myself applying this so this is what the wand looks like and that's about how much product comes out it's like in this little divot just um, on this slanted part here that's how much product comes out all right and I'm going to start applying it As you can see, it is extremely pigmented and opaque, so you have to be very careful. Sorry, there's a fly in here. So 
that's the lower lip there. I'm just going to transfer some to my top lip, re-dip it. I'm not going to need all this though. not normally this careful with a lip gloss but like I said this is kind of like paint so I just want to make sure I'm staying within the lines so that is what it looks like just after it's applied it still has quite a nice sheen to it it feels very smooth when I rub my lips together not sticky like in the least just kind of smooth and creamy okay so it's been about half an hour and I wanted to show you I gave it some time to dry it's still a little bit smooth, but I can tell that it's starting to get um, more matte, like it doesn't move as easily, but this is what it looks like now. A little bit less shiny, and probably about half an hour or so it'll be totally matte. Alright, I'm just going to see if there's a scent to this, because I can't remember. Yeah, there's a faint, it's very faint, it's kind of like a sweet scent, but honestly when you try this on you don't really notice it, so if you don't like scent, I don't think it'll be a problem. Um, on the odd occasion this month where I was able to wear it and I didn't mess it up and I was able to wear it till its full capacity, it lasted me quite a few hours. I want to say at least four hours. It was still on my lips. It dried, like I said, matte. Once it dries, though, it doesn't. you don't have that risk of transfer as much, um, which was nice. So, But it was a really long-lasting product. As you can see, I'm kind of on the fence with this product, but I wanted to give you guys my little review on it in case this is something that interests you. Um, it's kind of unique to the drugstore, so if you're looking for a really pigmented product that stays on your lips um, and kind of stains them, has a gloss, things like that, rather inexpensive, then I would definitely check it out. If you have any questions, let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!